Hello, Thomas again here. So now in the next video, in this video, I'm going to basically walk you through the mic check procedure that you're going to want to go through now that everything is assigned to the DCA groups, all the ch mic channels are assigned to them. And here you go, you have the mics pu uh, put on the people and you call them all for mic check. What you want to do is you want to start out with all faders up at the zero position that is marked here with this with this graphic. So this is this is kind of the, the normal position of the group faders. Um, and then um, you start out by calling the groups of people together. So let's say we're going to start with this group here and you can again check who's in it and you go. All right. It's the queen and minstrel and Larkin. So you're going to call queen minstrel and Larkin for mic check. Then you're going to unmute them. You can actually unmute them all together at the same time, like this. And um, then you, you select one at a time and you have the queen, you know, say something. Um, then the next one, minstrel, say something and, you know, tweak the settings. We're going to go over specifically what to, what to tweak and what to look for in tweaking the settings. But I just want to uh, walk you through uh, the general procedure and the importance of uh, setting the balances between the mics and not just, you know, an absolute volume that is, you know, whatever, as, as loud as it can get or, or however, whatever other criteria you would want to set. So this way you have, you're starting already balancing the people that are in the same group and that makes it all the easier later to balance everything. So, so you have, um, you know, the second one minstrel is going to say something. You're going to tweak the setting so that it's about the same as the queen. Then you do the same with Larkin. Then you have them sing. And then you simply go, okay, now each one say a, say a sentence, say a line from your, uh, from your script. By the way, this is good practice to teach your actors for mic checking. It will make mic checking so much easier and faster that in the beginning of mic check, you'll just say, hey, look, the way that mic check works is everyone just say a line, you know, make up the line, uh, think of the line that you're going to want to use for mic check and just keep saying that line. Or if you have multiple lines, that's fine. But just it doesn't really matter what line it is. It should be a line that's nice and loud so that they can say it in a projected way that they're supposed the same way that they're supposed to use it on stage when they're acting. Um, so that, you know, eliminates kind of like this, oh, I don't know what I'm going to say. And then they start counting and saying stupid things and, and they're not they're shy and they're not really, you know, projecting. And that's a useless mic check because you, you're not going to get the levels right anyway, because they're not giving you the right levels. So start by saying, hey, we're going to have each one has a line. Think of the line that you're going to want to use and say it as you're saying it in the, uh, in the, in the scene where it's at, you know, uh, come up with a line that is already or, uh, loud and projecting, you know, don't pick a line that is, um, you know, set kind of like under your breath or something, something like that, some something exceptional, just say a line that's loud and projected. And the same for singing, sing a line from one of your songs that is loud and projected and sing it the way that you're going to sing it. So then once you have these three kind of tweaked and set up here, um, you wanna, you're going to want to have them say, you know, say a line, queen, minstrel, say a line, um, Larkin, say a line, and literally just go queen, minstrel, Larkin, minstrel, Larkin, queen. And then you're going to listen for balance between those three uh, parts, between those three actors. Okay, so make them say their line loud and projected and make them switch between them frequently so that you can tell if they're speaking at the same volume and if they're if they're being amplified at the same volume that is putting them in good proportion to each other and then you're going to make adjustments to that um, ideally you're going to want to start out with all of these faders also be being at the zero position 
so that you can really use them later for fine tuning um, in case you know someone says their line's actually quieter in the mic check than later on then you can just go ahead and pull them down a little bit later and they can use these faders for that purpose so you don't ever have to dig into uh, the detailed settings of you know the gain and the equalizer and the compressor and so forth we're going to go over that in another video too later i'm just going to try to you know kind of do a top-down approach here and try to explain how important it is to use this part of to approach the mic check from a balancing point of view so not just setting an absolute level for each channel that you can get each channel as loud as possible but you want to make sure that they're balanced with each other so then you do the same thing for the other groups so you're going to mute them and send them send them to go back and you know so then you're going to want to take take the next group and then the next group with the ensemble and you do the same thing so the more people you have the more tricky this kind of becomes but um this is this is a good pro, uh, process that actually makes it much faster to do the mic check and it has a much more efficient result um, in the end all right and then you know at the end you're also going to want to see that the prince and the princess in this case you know they're on separate groups here but they also have things together so you want to make sure that they're in balance when they say dialogues with each other and ideally if you have enough time for that you want to also have um, groups of people sing together you know if they have a duet or if you have a trio or if you have a quartet or if you have an ensemble number go ahead and put the music on for that and have them sing together um, this is another Kind of notorious thing for for mic checks and singing usually singing is much louder than speaking all right that's that's natural um, but usually when you play the music with their songs people sing louder than if you just make them sing without playing the music so that's an important criteria so once you have everything dialed in you have it set up if you have the time that you can use um to sing them, have them sing something together, that's going to make it even better, put you in a better position to be prepared for how you're actually going to need the mic levels for, uh, for singing in, in the performance.